Hello, Kevin Olson here from TextLearn.com and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the date and simple date format classes of the Java API in order to get the date and time formatted as a string. So first we're going to have this date class which is imported from java.util and I believe there's also a java.sql.date so you want to make sure you import the one from the utilities package not the SQL package or SQL package. And then we'll also import java.text.simpleDate format. So the date object here is going to give us the date, the current time, and then the simple date format object, we're going to use that to format that date in the manner that we specify. So we can determine, you know, what, where we, how we want the month to look, how we want the days to look, things like that. Whether we want it to say um, like 0, 1 for January, or if we want it to say something like the abbreviation for January or the full letter written out January. So let's make this, I'm just going to call this date example. And we'll go ahead and create a new class in there for testing purposes and I'm just going to call it test and give it a main method. Okay, so first off let's create our date. So date, this date equals new date. So we're creating a date object and we can use the import and you can see there is a java.sql one. We want to use the java.util utilities one. So we import java.util.date and now we can use that date object and we can just say date this date equals new date to create a new date object and we can even just print that out. I believe it has a built in to string method. So let's take a look at this. So we print that out and it says Tuesday, October 26 and the current time 12.59 p.m. EDT and it is 2015. So if we want to change that format we can use the simple date format object. So simple date format date form equals new simple date format and then we're going to pass that a string and the string we put in there is going to be the format for that date. So I import the simple date format in there so now I have both of those guys imported up there. And now we can start adding codes into this string to print it out the way we want to. So let's say we want to do month, day, year. And now I'm going to print out, let's see, this date dot, or actually no, I have to do date format, date form dot format and this date. And this will format that date using the date format object and that returns a string. So we're printing out the string with that formatted date now as MMDDYY. And when we do this we can see it printed out October 27th, 2015 and because I have two M's in here it gave me 10. Because I have two lowercase d's in here it gave me the day of the month and then the two y's that means it gave me the year. If I change that to just one y it will print out the full 2015 year instead and we can modify this in a few different fashions. For example if I add four, four m's now it prints out the full word October instead of just the, um, the number 10. Let's see what happens if I just put one M in there. I believe, yep, that'll do 10. But because there's only one M in there, now it'll just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When it's M, M, two capital M's, it'll do 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, and so on. So it'll add that second digit in there as we need it. Now for the, let's see. If we do capital DD, what does that do? Capital DD, I believe that is the day of the year. So that's the actual day of the year. So today is apparently the 300th day of the year. Change that back. And now we can do W or just W and that'll give us the week number of the year. And I'm just looking at a cheat sheet here. I have these codes on my website and you can also find them on Oracle Docs. Um, the A will give us if it's AM or PM, so let's try that one out. So if I put an A in there, it'll say, well, right now it's PM because it's 102 PM, my time right now. And let's try a few with time now. If I do, 
um, let's see, HHMM hours and minutes. It gives me 102 p.m. and if I change that to just H with only one H, you can see it's 102 p.m. But when I had the two H's in there, again it added that second digit so now it's 0102. And likewise if I change it to just M, it'll say well now it's the third minute of the hour so it just prints um, one digit so no zero three so you probably always want to have that two m's in there for for time whereas you might only want to have the one digit in for the hour and of course if it was to be like 10 o'clock or something it's not just going to put out one it's going to put 10 in there so it'll go without that first digit that zero digit before the one when we have the two h's in there and now let's see what happens if i do capital h h so capital HH gives us military time, or as the rest of the world knows it, regular time. So now that's based on a 24-hour clock, so it's 13.03 p.m. right now. And I can get rid of that A. And now we know that it's 1.03 p.m. So that is pretty much all there is to the date and time. If we wanted to, say for example, save that date into a string, all we have to do is do string my string equals and then I can even just copy paste this here, date form, that format, this date, and then now that is in a string, and I can print out that string with that date in it. So you can save it to a string that way. All right, and I hope you found this video helpful, and that's really all I got, so take care.